Hey everyone, Star Knight here. For today's video, we will be doing another speed paint. This time, our concept would be painfully loving you. Since we've talked about a lot of inspirational stuff, I feel like it's time that we dive in deeper with the topic of love. So prepare your hearts and mind and let's get started. So first, how was everyone's week? For me, it was very stressful and busy since it was the research defense week for us and thankfully we were able to defend a couple of titles. I also started preparing for my college entrance exams since it's around the corner and I'm very nervous with that but I believe in myself and I'm gonna try my best. So right now we're just doing the overall sketch. So my inspiration for this piece is about loving someone even though you're being hurt or loving someone and you're not actually realizing that you're being damaged. A lot of stuff can go, especially if we talk about the topic of loving. For me, loving is about something that makes you happy, but I've never really actually taught how you can keep a romantic relationship with another person. I was really focused with my own ambitions and dreams to the point that I feel like if I do get into a relationship, I wouldn't be able to give my time. Even though I always say I want to be in a relationship, to be honest, I'm not ready for it. So it's really interesting how other people can do it. A lot of the people around me, especially my peers, some of them are able to manage their relationships well while others are having a hard time. And as a bystander, I see the overview of what's going on. It's really easy to be blinded by love, and I feel like it can really change you as a person. The way you live, the way you act with your friends. You know, for me, I had a really bad experience with pursuing someone. It was really traumatizing, but we'll get to that later. So here, I'm drawing both of my original characters, Han Yul and Jason. I'm planning a little project about them. I feel like this piece is more of like a symbolism, since at first you're gonna be really confused who's painfully loving who. And since I haven't told you their story yet, a lot of things can go through your mind. So after doing the sketching part of our characters, we're now moving on to putting the base colors. For this piece, I had to make sure that the, the colors that I'm going to use for both characters are going to be cohesive to each other, just so I can set the mood of the piece. You know how love can actually make you do things that you don't normally do? I remember experiencing that. I had this little crush for like 4 years. And I remember I couldn't confess because of a certain reason. So yeah, it was very casual before. I just look at them from afar and that's enough for me. But fast forward when I transferred to another school, I saw them there again and we were actually in the same school. So I remember me and my new friends were eating at the cafeteria and I was eating an ice cream. It was very messy. And then suddenly someone poked me at my back. It was actually that person. They were like, hey, are you that guy from my old school? Something like that. And I was like, yeah, hi, how are you? But keep in mind, there was an ice cream in my mouth. I look really messy back then. So we just greet each other. And everyone in my table was looking at me because I was blushing really hard. And then after that, it was like a normal day and I really didn't think about it. But as time goes by, my friends were telling me how they keep noticing that person looking at me. Even in the elevators, in the halls, that person was staring at me. So I thought they were interested with me. So I tried messaging them and yeah, it went well, I think. At that time, I didn't plan on confessing on anything. I was indirectly flirting with this person. I'm dropping hints that I actually like them, but I'm not jumping into the water. So yeah, it went for a couple of weeks. Then I started realizing how hard it is to chat this person. Probably since I always start the conversation and I also end the conversation. It was a really bad feeling for me. Like it's not going anywhere. Then on my birthday, that's when I started realizing how this person wasn't really interested with me. I was a Delulu back then. I remember we were in the amusement park 
and I rode all of the rides there, even the extreme ones, which I don't usually do since I'm afraid of heights. But yeah, that's when I realized how I deserve so much better and that I shouldn't assume a lot of things. I feel like it's a lesson learned for me that in every action you do, whether it's bad or good, there's a consequence and just live with life. So after putting the base color, we're now starting to put the shadows. So here, I didn't really have a direction or a process. I was just going with the flow on where I put the shadows, especially in the hair since the hair is short, we need to emphasize the flow. Then we're just refining the eyes. You know, I want to improve more when it comes to drawing expressions. Especially since when it comes to expression, the muscles of the face, the eyes, and the mouth are changing. And it can make a really impactful expression. I feel like most of the characters I draw have a dull face. They are not really expressive. When I was doing this part, I was a little confused since Hanil's head is tilting down, so the point where the hair is coming from would be different compared to the ones where you can only see the bangs if the characters are looking at front. Then for his accessories, I decided to add pearls. For me, pearls look very elegant. It can make someone look expensive. Sometimes I like wearing them, but depending on my mood. And I feel like this would really fit our character. Then we're just adding some details on the pearl. After adding the accessory, we're now starting to work on with the shadows for his clothing. This was one of my favorite parts. I was able to really practice the shadows for my clothing. And it's one of the details that would really complete the piece. Then we're just adding a couple of highlights. Falling in love to someone is normal since we're all human. It's not our fault that we fall to the right person or the wrong person. But it's a matter of our choice and where we put our hearts. Love is one of the greatest gifts we can give to a person. And sometimes even if we are the giver, we are still hurt. It's one of the greatest joy when someone accepts our love and takes care of it. But sometimes there are just a lot of people who are very awful who will turn your love into a disappointment. And it's sad how all we can do is just move on and forget about it. But I feel like for me, aside from relationship not being my top priority, I was also scared because of the traumatizing experience. Like, I don't want to experience that again. I know what I deserve and it's not that treatment. So I just want to be patient and see where the wind takes me. For now, I'm really happy with what are things now and I want to focus more on myself. There are a lot of things I need to work on with myself before I can even focus on someone. So now we're just adding a detail for the rose. Since this piece is all about love, I decided to add this element. You know how roses means love. And now we're starting to add the background. Since Jason is laying down, I decided to put them on a bed. And then I added some curtains. This will change the piece a little bit, especially with the lighting. Since I decided to add a window behind them, now there would be a background lighting. Now we're just adding some details and a couple of finishing touch. I was really happy with the end result of this piece. I feel like I was able to give justice for my broken heart. I'm just kidding. Well, anyways, here's the final result of our piece. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Here's a quick speed paint of our piece for today. I really appreciate you listening and watching until the end of the video. I feel like you're my friend that I can just tell my story anytime I want. And I'm having a lot of fun sharing stories with you guys. Love can be both rewarding and painful. 
But at the end of the day, we're all just humans. So anyways, for more contents like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And feel free to comment down below what you want to see next. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!